Hey, what's up, folks? Just want to make a uh, video on, um, on my uh, day pack. It's a uh, Pathfinder from the Pathfinder store day pack, and uh, some of my knives and axes that I I carry. And uh, I've been using this pack probably for about the last six months. Been using it on um, a lot of rabbit hunts, just day trips, and uh, things held up great. I like to carry it uh, rabbit hunting. I can carry my food and water, and um, I don't know if any any of you guys have ever done any rabbit hunting, but it, it's rough on equipment because you go through briars and and uh, all kinds of crazy stuff out there. It tears your clothes up. But this is the pack, and it's got a water bottle pouch here that I mainly use for a dump pouch and carrying extra stuff. I got a my uh, work sharp knife sharpener in there, some matches, lighter, open L knife. Depends on what uh, where I'm going that day and what I'll carry in this thing. And I put a Condor water bottle bag over here on this side, and I carry a stainless steel. I think that's a Pathfinder and a cup, stainless steel cup in there. And I just have some fire starting material and my putting steel in here. And on top, it's got a nice little pouch up here. I got a one of the old Leatherman waves I have forever. Uh, little case pocket knife and just a little pack of Advils in there. Also keep band-aids and stuff in there. And alcohol wipes. And, uh, and it's got a little front pocket on it right here, which I keep my slingshot in. It's a simple and my ammo's in there. I always have a slingshot with me. I like to shoot them. Let's see. And it's got your also got a drawstring to keep water out. A little pouch on top. But and then it's got your front pack. It's got a little pocket here. They don't have anything in. It has this front pocket here. So I'll just keep some plastic bags in. I don't know what's all in here. Matches. More fire starting lighters. Lighters. I don't know what's in here. I don't know what that is. Might be a uh, bag bomb. I guess what it is. And I keep my, uh, if you can see that right there, I keep my Emberlet stove right in this little, it's got another little pouch and it fits perfect in there. Uh, it depends on what I'm doing that day and what I carry with me. And then it's got this side pouch here. So I keep my Laplander, Amora, Companion, I think this is what this one is. Got plenty of knives with me at all times. And inside, it depends if I'm going to be cooking or not when I'm out. I take my uh, cook kit with me. Which 
don't want to come out, but it fits in there snug. Actually, have another a little sling. This is my cook kit. I've got a video on this somewhere. I got my water bottle, my hanger, ferro rod, spoon in there, and I know I got a bunch of fire starting stuff on the inside. Maybe it's so like oil and different stuff to cook with. Probably fire starting stuff in here. Yeah. Oh, that's alcohol and some, some uh, ham wipes, wet wipes. Yeah. Okay, that's the bag, and I keep my alcohol stove in here. It's a Pathfinder stove. And more fire starting stuff right here. But I also have a, a little sling I can put on this to carry this separately if I'm just hiking and want to have something to cook with. And I got another Mora. Light my fire. It's got the little ferro rod on it that down in there. That's about it on that thing. But this has got a nice, it's got another little pouch here on the inside. It's got a lot of room to put stuff. And it's got another, another pouch somewhere that I keep 55 gallon drum plastic bags in it. That's my uh, day pack. It works great and it's held up to my abuse this winter. And these are some of my knives, the tops, bobs, knives that I really like. Got a dangler on it. This is my uh, BK7, so I got some fat fat wood on it, um, little ferro rod right there with some duct tape on it, some wet fire on the back and something inside that, I don't know what, probably some more uh, fire starting stuff. And I got some paracord on there and I modified this knife to where I could use it to strike. To, um, I put a 90 degree spine on it so it'll throw sparks. It does great. I love this knife. This usually goes with me every time I go. And then I got the BK9. I also modified it. Put a 90 degree spine on. I don't carry this one as much unless I'm going out for a long time. It's got some wet fire. It's got a little little uh, knife I added on the front. It's a little BK something, 16 I think. Got a sail needle on there. Another ferro rod on the back of that. And this is one knife I don't hardly use anymore. This is a um, Trail Master, it's cold steel. And I got a little BK16, I think it is. I haven't really used. I'm going to take the coating off yet. It's been laying around for about a year. I haven't used it yet. And I got my uh, another Mora right there. Bush Cat Black. This is just some of my knives that I've collected over the years. I always have this on me. It's the newer uh, Wave Leatherman, and this uh, this is just a like a a tracker type knife, which I really haven't tested. 
Just got it cheap on eBay. It's got a good edge on it, but I'm not sure. It just looked cool at the time I bought it. So who knows? And I got Condor. Um, can't remember what they call it. I think it's the Bushcraft knife, something like that. It's a nice, nice blade. Heavy duty. Takes the edge well. Little Bob's neck knife that I carry. Got a lot of animals with that. My uh, Gransford Brooks um, small forest axe. Sweet. Which I don't carry that a whole lot unless I'm really staying out for a while. And my Condor bush tool. Try not to leave home without that when I'm out walking. Got a Sven saw. So I'm ready. Um, this is my original, this is an original, called the original Mora, which everybody's seen. I've had this thing for years. Well worn, as you can see. I've got it deer, rabbits, little camp chores with this thing. Still razor sharp. Another Mora. And I never leave home without packing some kind of heat, which I like to pack my uh, Bonds Arm 410 45 long Colt Derringer with me. And another knife. I really like because it's lightweight. It's a cold steel Bushman. Razor sharp. Can make a spear out of it. I always like to have some type of weapon with me on places that I hike. And especially when I go out into the country. Like wild dogs are a problem. And I've been uh, surrounded by them before. So that's just some of my crap. I really wanted to just show this bag. I love this thing. It's held up so good. It's really comfortable. It's got a nice strap. It's got a little, um, little arm for your shoulder. A little shoulder pad right there. And it's got another little pouch in the back. Which I keep just some plastic bags back in there right now. You can keep maps in there. Whatever you want inside that thing. But, and I got a bunch of other stuff laying around here. This, this is my main stuff that I'll pick something out to take with me. And, um, I hope this Sunday I hope to do a, a video. I'm going to get out and hunt, do some mushroom hunting and do some hiking and maybe cook some something out there in the woods. I take this book along with me. I've been reading that. Dave's Canterbury. It's a great book. Love them or hate them. It's a great book. And then I got this monster from uh, Nathan. He's got a YouTube channel and an eBay store. And I, what I did is I took it on my belt sander and sanded some of that down. And this thing really throws a spark now, man. I kind of um, took more of the coating off and went down into the, the rod. And but it really throws one now. That's about it. I might as well end this thing now. It's getting too long, but this is a great pack. Pathfinder store shoulder pouch. Now, I forgot a few other things that I'll carry. I'll carry one for sure is my um, cold steel. I got a cold steel tomahawk. I really like. And this is a CRKT. I like this, but it's just too heavy to carry. This thing will put a whooping on some wood. But it is a little bit too heavy. Then I have another uh, trail trail hawk, trail boss or trail hawk or something like that. It's got the hammer on the side. And they're nice little tools. I'll carry them with me. Carry one with me usually when I'm out hiking. So. And that's about it.